am I gonna start? Guys, this is called Kyoto Orange, and I am digging it. It's by Kate Morrow. This is by Darlene Schwartz. What a beautiful mini. Jane Warfield. This is by Leslie Prokop, and it is honorable mention. What a cute, oh, oh a ribbon, I should say. Love that. Hello, how are you all? Oh, smart. <laughs> oh, well, I'm live. So this lets people who are not here get a chance to see who's doing what and all of that. I think so, too. And they love it. They love to come along with us. <laughs> yeah, who can't, who can't get out? A lot of the time it is. Good girl. Thank you. This is by Peg Green. Oh. You guys know how I love a churn dash. Ugh. This is by Deborah Iverson, and she won third place. Not sure what the categories are, but she won third place in something. Modern quilts. Oh, I'm in the modern quilts area. Okay, I'm in the modern quilts area. <laughs> Enjoy your show. Move around however you need to. <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to. I just, I just don't want to be in that. <laughs> you don't. You don't want to be here. It would. You don't want to be, I understand. Um, this is the modern section. This is by Kay Kat Katowski, and it's called Flower Power. You're doing the same thing as me. Yeah, am I? Are you live? No, not live. I am. So we are here in the modern quilt section. This is by Pam Zek. I love it. Look at all this purple. This one here is by Erlinda Regino. Crop Circles by Jane Warfield. This is here by Donna Koenig. And this is by Pamela Zek. They have some really nice modern folk here and they're right up in the front. And it is busy here. So this one here won honorable mention. Again, I love these. And they all seem to have some pins in the pin cushion. It's just super cute. Kate Morrow, this is called Go Indigo. <laughs> Look at the thread. I guess it's quilting or embellishing. Like that. This here is by Linda Swanson and it's second place. Yeah. Love how that does that over in the corner and down here at the bottom. That is excellent design. So this one, Best of Show, and this is by Jean Freestone. And again, we are now we're in the art quilts, the pictorial category. We have a lot of categories here. I am so glad that I popped in here. Lily, Janine Ward. We are in the his pictorial category. Susan Mastry.
we are in the art quilts pictorial category still. And this is by Ellen Simon. This is by Janine Ford. This is a good size. I like the borders. Look at the bottom border here. It's quilted around it too, which is really nice. Am I zoomed out as far as I can be? I guess so. Oh. There we go. It's tight in here. They've got these quilts packed in. Sorry guys, I'm trying to make sure that I'm zoomed out as far as I can be because of how tight it is in here, which is super cool. This is by Debbie Webb. Let me back up. And this one, best use of color. And it's a pictorial quilt. And it won second place. Oh, this is cool. Tiffany. This is by Janet Fishman. Look at these jewels and diamonds. The faceted fabric that's cut out and just plopped in right there. It's cute. I like it. This one here is by Jan Noe. And this got an honorable mention. Beautiful quilting detail in the background. I like that because the background is just a fabric print, but the quilting just gives a subtle something. It's really nice. Let's see if we can. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> You guys know how I feel about these signs. So it says, don't get caught touching the quilts. So cute. Let's go here first since nobody's here. Oh, there are people coming here. Tommy Fitzsimmons. This one is called Candyland. And we are in the accomplished uh, applique quilter. I like how it says accomplished quilter. I wonder what that means exactly. I'll have to look into it. This is appliqued. Again, this is by Kay Kotwalski, I think. Ooh, look at this. What's for dinner? Ella's Grouper by Susan Mastery. She's an accomplished quilter. Bubble Up by Tommy Fitzsimmons. Art quilts were back to the pictorial category by Lynn. This is uh, called Daisy's Got the Blues. And this is by Linda Swanson. This is Ellen Simon. And this here is by Mary Lewis. And these two are both in the pictorial category. Now I'm going to see if I can't get into this one next to us. This must have all the... This is a big one. This is by Kay Kotovowski. Totally pictorial. I like how we got there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we've got columns making this quilt and depending upon where you drop that color you get a picture what a cool technique and then we've got some quilting over it to add to the picture it's really, cute. It's really nice Darlene Schwartz in the pictorial category Darlene Schwartz in the sunflower Doing that. Pardon me? That's a smart way of doing this. We're live currently. <laughs> no, no, no. We can talk. No, I do this all the time. Yeah. This is, they are used to this. This is like hanging out with, you know, 10 more of your best quilty friends. <laughs> but it does keep it nice and smooth. <laughs> this is by Pamela Zach. This is called Screech Owl. This is by Ellen Simon. Golden Lady. <clears throat> it's 
still in the pictorial category. This one here is by Rosalie Clark. Here we've got one. This one is by Susan Mastry, and this has got an honorable mention. And this is by Ellen Simon. All right, so this is the first row done. Now we can go check out the second row. We're going to try not to bother vendors and people who do not want to be bothered. Look at all the baskets that they have. Ooh. Okay, what category is this? This is the applique category. This got an honorable mention. And the NACQJ, which I don't, National Association of Certified Quilt Judges for Outstanding Achievement in Quilt Making. This is by Kathy Lane. What's up, Yvette? Look at all this tight work. This one is by Mary Lewis and it got an honorable mention. Look at the quilting on that center. I love the way that that vase looks. Ooh, I see an alligator or a crocodile. <laughs> Look at these. This one says, don't, don't bug me. <laughs> they just tickled me. <laughs> All right. Janet Fishman. We are in the other category. And look at this embroidery work and lace work and this is beautiful what a beautiful way to use this Janet Fishman this is by Diane Laybourne and this one first place in the mixed category So I see some applique and some piecing here. This one here got third place in the mixed category. And it's by Margaret Erasmus, maybe? Happy Gator by Barbara Bailey got second place, and this is in the mixed category. <laughs> well, we are in Florida, so that makes sense. This is a Sassafras Lane designs pattern. You guys know I love me some Sassafras Lane. Looks so good. Look at those teeth. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, looky, looky. I want to do one of these so badly. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one. This is a Kim McLean um, machine quilted. This one won an honorable mention, and it also won best in hand applique. And it's by Elva Farrell. One of my very first quilts, I use this fabric. And so this quilt just makes me feel all warm inside. This is by Elizabeth Smith. And this is in the Emerging Quilters Collaborative Professional category. Ooh, an autumn quilt. This one won first place in the applique category.
And this is by Sharon Chalablock, I believe. And above me, we got an honorable mention. And that's by Nancy Richards. This one here is Sharon Chalablock. And this one, third place in the applique category. And then we have second place in the applique category. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I can get it to... This is by the design, the pattern is by Adidas Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts, but it's by Kath Bowen. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> hey, Deborah. Good morning. Yeah, am I gonna show all these signs? Probably. So just be ready, because I want every I want them to be a thing. I want to every show that I go to to have those signs. This is by Karen Clark. I see vegetables. This one here is by Joan Clarico. Flower Power Two. And this one behind me is by Susan, Susan Arndt. Is that the lady from the, no, it was a YouTuber. I don't, uh, don't get me to tell stories, guys. This one here won an honorable mention. I love a Christmas quilt. That one feels very holiday. That's a group quilt. So we're in the group quilt category. The other one was, Oh, the other ones are group quilts, too, that I just showed you. This one here is by Margaret Erasmus, and then this one's Stevie Tumblr. <laughs> Wait, nothing but a hound dog, if you touch the quilts. Oh, Deborah, I'm so glad. I love to bring everybody with me. What a great use of a panel. You know, we often wonder, what are we going to do with those panels? Well, here's an idea. This is by Susan LaRoche. Uh, this is by a particular pattern. This one here won first place in the Collaborative Professional. And this is by Kathy Lawton. Collaborative Professional, Five Herds and Counting, Denise Collado. See what this says on there. I don't know what these are or what they mean, but I'm sure one of you guys will tell me. Maybe they're the names of the dogs. Stepchildren's Collection of Named Stuffed Dogs went to my husband. Oh, that's cute. And now we all know. Points on Parade, Kathy Lawson, Lawton, sorry. Okay. Let's see here. Real wine if you touch the coat. Sandy Myers. Wildfires. Judy Niemeyer Hatter. We are in the collaborative professionals. We've got a round quilt. This is interesting because I'm always wondering how I would hang any of my round quilts. And now I see. Look at that. And it hangs really nicely. 
Um, this is by Kathy Lawton. And this is a Judy Niemeyer pattern. Mm, look at the use of this border. We'll get up on it in a second. This is by Brenda Waithier, I believe. Look at the border. Isn't it great? I love the use of this. It's nice and tight. She used just enough. And then we'll just swing around this way. We'll get along just fine as long as you don't touch the quilts. You know that gives me just, it's too cute. The long dog, the Datsun. <laughs> Yay, Becky. That's right, multitask. Hang with me and multitask. Thank you for letting me know you're here because I know you're busy. Joan Clerico. I can't wait to show you guys the quilting and the border of this and how beautifully it goes with this. It looks like a one block wonder kind of kind of thing. Look at that. Oh, you know how I feel about a good canto. Okay. This here got an honorable mention. We are still in the group quilts category on this side. I know that I'm going back and forth, but I'll tell you guys. These three right here are in the group quilt section. Ooh, holiday. Oh, I bet that's great to do as a group quilt. This is by Sandy Myers. They call their groups cottages. You know, some people call them bees. They have cottages, and I think that's super cool. Look at this. I think that this would be so much fun to do as a collaborative effort. Like, what if somebody's job was this whole little row right there? And then, of course, the block. I am just tickled. But then that's because it's a holiday quilt. And you guys know how I love me a holiday quilt. <laughs> okay. Poinsettia in Bloom by Kathy Lawton. Kathy Lawton is all up and through here. Go, Kathy. Turn them out. Judy Niemeyer pattern. It's round. And it's hung lovely. Leslie Prokop. This here got second place in the Emerging Quilters Collaborative Professional. I like the size of this quilt. It's not a square, it's a rectangle, but it's not a long rectangle. This is really cool. This probably could have done well in the modern category too. Trippy. That one won second place, yep. And this one here is by Brenda Waithier. Deborah, are you over there doing a million things too? You guys are busy. If you guys haven't done so already, you popped in, hit the thumbs up for me so that we can shoot this video out to all people so they can know that we're here, we exist, and we're doing the thing. Oh, no problem, no problem. We're gonna go back to this booth when people are finished admiring. This one is on the side of Collaborative Pictorial, and this is by Kate Hawkins. Then we've got Evelyn Fudge on this side. And then we are going to, is this a panto? I'm not sure. We are gonna swing on over back where we were and check this out and let them enjoy the booth for a moment. Oh, I love this. This one's second place in the, is this the, what is this? This is group quilts. Oh, look at this guys. Oh, love what is happening here. I can't wait to go back and watch this video so that I can really dive into it. 
This is by Joan Noe, Noe maybe? Oh, I love this. I love so much about this. I think it's the, the, the use of this. Yes, the dots and then the stripes, of course, but I think it's the use of that strip for me. I don't know. This one here got an honorable mention in group quilt category. This is by Jean, Jean Freestone. And then as we get over to the right a bit, this is by Cass Bowen. And this is in the groups. And this one won first place. <laughs> you love all the trees? Well, let's get on this tree so you can see this tree some more. Second round robin. Oh, so this, is, well, this was a round robin kind of quilt. And then we've got this guy here. Oh, I like this one too. And this is by Joy Abbott. And this is in the group quilts. This one, best machine quilting and also third place. Boy, that's a clean crosshatch. You guys know how much I love a crosshatch. That is clean. Much cleaner than I could ever do. Love the little use of circles. So many different designs on here. Done very, very well. <clears throat> There's one quote over here that I don't think I got, but I want everybody to enjoy their show without being bothered by us. This one's by Susan Hall, Suzanne Hall. Look at these ribbons. I love these instead of just the regular ribbons. I'm loving that trend that I'm starting to see. Here's another one that can't be hung just with the regular sleeve. How many sizes does this have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is an octagon. And because of that, it has to be hung in a certain way. And I'm loving that they've done that. It hangs beautifully all those points <laughs> yeah I'm gonna assume that this is paper piecing if this is a, a Judy Niemeyer I'm forgetting what's the base I'm going oh our hair has sparkles in it so pretty let's go here let's go here Suzanne Hall And this is uh, established quilters collaborative professional. This got first place in the established quilters collaborative professional. This is a big guy. It is fancy. Look at this quilting, the ribbons and the in the border. The feathers, not ribbons, the feathers. And then we have some uh, embroidery work here down the center. And then the block itself is just a dope block. It's a really nice block. And then we have here we have Nettie Krimsky, and she won second place in the Collaborative Professionals. Look at this quilting here. Check that out. We've got some echo quilting, and then some beautiful geometric trickery. <laughs> Check this out. Some of these blocks are just amazing. 
Oh, absolutely, and I have definitely been showing them. I am tickled by them. <laughs> they are cute. Okay, guys, I missed this one over here. Um, this is Scrappy Enchanted Stars by Susan Russo. The go maybe? Uh. If you guys haven't done so already, hit that little thumbs up button for me so that we can share this with everybody. And please share me with your friend. I just dropped. That doesn't ever happen. Uh-oh. Let's plug in this gimbal before we lose power. And we are looking at Susan LaRoque, I believe. Here we are. And I was just saying, if you guys can, like and share. Purples, yeah, purples don't don't lose. If you want your quilt to go viral, try um try a purple. <laughs> try posting a purple quilt. Because those usually do very, very well. Bear with me guys. We're just batter battery powering up. I just, I lost me too. This is the, I saw myself get lost this time, Becky. I don't know. I don't know where I am. I don't know how great my, my, um, signal is. I've never had that issue before. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna keep going and just pop back in if you lose me. avoiding housework don't avoid housework just do it with me on in the background then just peek over every every bit how was this accomplished there is a super tiny oh you know what i bet you it's 12 weight i bet you guys that's 12 weight thread i think it's so mid-century absolutely this is by tommy fitzsimmons and it's a big guy It is very modern, very masculine use of color. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Okay, so this is this is in the art quilts expressive category. And here Joy Abbott got an honorable mention for mending fences. This one down here, this blue one. And then Lynn Purple. third place. Looks like she colored hers. John, John, Jean Freestone here. Second place. And this is in the Art Quilts Expressive category. I feel like they've had a lot of categories and we've only been through two, two aisles. This is by Diane Borlier, maybe? This one's first place, Art Quilts Expressive, Pamela Morris, Matchstick Quilts, oh yeah. I've been, you know, I will say, less Matchstick than QuiltCon. <laughs> QuiltCon was Matchstick crazy. This is Janine Ward here. All right, let's keep it moving. This is by Debbie Webb, and it's kind of amazing. Kind of amazing. This is an original design machine quilted on a stationary machine. And this is in the mixed category, and it won first place. I wonder what the mix is because I'm seeing piecing here. <laughs> um, hmm. I don't know. It's piece and, oh, it's apple pieced. Okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it. And then we've got second place in the mixed category. And this is by Susan Arndt. 
artist. I swear I know that. I swear that's the lady who has the channel, the Big Bad channel, second place. Um, I think. Her name could also be Susan. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Felicity Goodell, third place. Then we've got It's a Jungle Out There by Kate Hawkins, first place. Darlene Schwartz, second place. Robin Craig. And these are all in the Peace category. Where am I going to go next? Let's go here. Flight of the Dolphins by Carla Lynch. Donna Koenig is the pineapples. And these are in the Accomplished Culture Collaborative Professional. These little guys over here in the miniature category. A lot of periwinkle, me too. A lot of periwinkle. That's by Kate Metheny. They were in the tiny category right here, these miniatures. This one here is by Phoebe Trumbler, Trumpler. And this guy here is by Suzanne Hall. And those are in the miniatures. And then I think we have some more minis right here. This one's second place. And this is by Sue Ballas. Ballas? Ballas? Nancy Richards took first. It's called The Farmer's Wife. Are these farmer waste blocks? Wow, if they are, go you. Barbara M. Yoti. And Tiny Stars by Joy Abbott. All right, let's go here. Evelyn Fudge, Brimfield Bread Box. Boy, this is a beautiful color palette. Lovely quilting in the center of all of these quilts. Slightly different. No, they're not. They're the same. Just kidding. Just kidding. And then these guys right here. Love that. Evelyn Fudge. I love the decisions that were made here. I never really know which is this fabric. I think this is that Stonehenge fabric, and boy, does it look good. <laughs> Kate Hawkins. All right. And this one here is second place, and uh, by Felicity Goddell. And we are going to just. Again, Felicity, Felicity Goddell, and this is about soccer, I think, here, and this one also is by Felicity Goddell, and we're in the applique category. Tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. All right, guys, where are we going next? We're going this way. And that black one, a gazillion hours. Did you see all those tiny? They're so tiny. Love what they did in the border here. Love the border work. Diane Laybourne first place. 
Boy, this feels like spring. It's called Bunnies, Birds, and Blooms. And I think it's just lovely. Barbara around that yeah I, I could too easily this one is just it feels good it feels serene it just feels clean I love it I can smell that quote like not literally but just the freshness of it all that was by Diane Laborn this was by Barbara this was by Barbara M. Yachty this is by Kathy Porteous and this one here is by Lynn Purple. Look at those big butterflies. Moonstruck. Then we got Suzanne Roos. I am so annoyed that I didn't charge my gimbal. I've been in the car for two hours and I thought everything was charged. And now it's like, what? I have a battery connected to it. I just don't know if this is the best cord for it. All right, we were here, so we're gonna go someplace else. Where are we gonna go? Hey, look, there's Mr. Cox. <laughs> he doesn't stick out like a sore thumb. Baby, will you get me some water, please? Thank you. I bet he didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cox is here. Okay, let's see. Rosalie Clark, this is in the Accomplished Quilter Collaborative Professional. Pam Lab, maybe? L A B B E? Mad about plaid? I'm mad about plaid too. Look at all these plaids. In the in the corners, you see them? What she used a ton of prints. I don't know if there are any solids in here, and yet I don't feel overwhelmed at all. Baby, will you get that white cord out the car? There's a white there's a white cord. Is that what he signed up for? No, honeydews, I tell you. Okay, uh, Sue Balazs. This has got an honorable mention. Oh, that water is just what I needed. Right, let's go across here. No pause on the coat. Ooh, let's look at all these ribbons. We are in heirloom. This one first place. Using the techniques of India's city people. I use my hand dyed 100% cotton scraps. Okay, for a quandy style. Interesting. This took first place. Wow. And in Friendship Not Quilters Guild, best hand quilting. Oh good, it's going to green. That means that that's good. It's, it is charging. Kate Hawkins. This is just a beautifully, this would be like the best baby quilt in the world to receive. It's simple, it's sweet, it could be done quickly. It took second place in the heirloom and it does feel very, very heirloom. It's an original design. It's just, you know, it's just sweet. This makes me smile. This is definitely a quilt that makes me just simply smile. All right, we are in the pieced category, and this is an emerging quilter. 
and this took an honorable mention. Star Wars fabric. Looks like a three yard quilt, maybe, sort of. Beautifully chosen panto. I like it. Here we have in the piece category by Margaret Ezramus. I'm probably butchering these people's names so badly. I hope not too badly. Oh, we missed one. We missed a few. Thanks for not touching the quilts with the ducky. You haven't made a Star Wars quilt for him? I feel like you should. He would like you a lot. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Just put it in that pocket right there. No, no. On my hip. Thanks, babe. Just stuck it right down in there. Okay. All right. Don't worry about me. Go ahead and grab something. No. That's fine. Wherever you... No, no. I'll go later. I've, I've got about like another hour or so or whatever. Whatever you want to do, do, do your thing. Okay. Jan Nohi. We've got best professional quilting, best machine applique. You guys, I want one of these ribbons so bad. Um, and first place in the accomplished quilter collaborative professional. Accomplished? I think so. Wait till you guys see this quilting if you didn't already. And this piecing. Okay. Look at this quilting, guys. Love it. Look at those stacked lines. They knew just what to do to fill the spot. And it's the opposite side, too. With the rope going down. Oh, my goodness. Tiny, tiny, tiny half square triangles. Applique work. And then the centerpiece. It must have been a beast to, to, um, to piece. And the color story is awesome. It feels quaint, but it feels good. Oh, I wonder, it's a collaborative professional, so I guess, what does that mean? Like, is it, a, is it a cottage or is it just somebody quilted it and somebody pieced it? And this is an original design. Oh, I love you. Jan, I love you. Love that. Oh. Did you guys just get all the feels from that quilt? Cause I did. Let me just stand dead center so you guys can see it. There's nobody around me. And I'm, I'm obsessing over the binding. I love that the binding is echoed in that fabric right there. That's what I mean, I guess several worked on it, but it's like, yeah, I, I don't see the name. So like, you know, when you see like a group quilt, you're like, okay, there's, you know, Barbara, Pat and Jane. It's funny because the person who quilted this is Pat, which enhanced the design. Maybe, I don't know. I've got to read the thing. They gave me a thing. I've got to read the thing. Phoebe Trumpler, another beautifully pieced piece. This is Collaborative Professional. Whatever it means, it works. Yeah, nailed it. Nailed it. You guys, this water just gave me energy. Can you guys tell? I feel very energized right now. Rosalie Clark, another collaborator of professionals. Beautiful blues with this tan. It feels very beachy. I think this is a panto, but, but, but what a good one. Look, you see how they graduate down through that um, feather and come back up through? I like that. I like that a lot beautiful design oh I see one that I am just gonna flip over and it took first place I wonder what category that is can we just call it the matte category you guys see it we're gonna get over there to it but first I really want to get to this one so we're gonna let this woman enjoy over there let's just look at Jan some more since we love her okay I'm some time and she gets to enjoy her show so we're gonna go here you guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Is this a pattern? Oh, it's 100 days, 100 blocks. I've done this pattern. <laughs> I just tickled myself. Um, this is by Gnome Angel. This one is, the pattern is by Gnome Angel. It's the 100 blocks. I did one, but I didn't do it like this. This is better. By Barbara Bailey. Barbara nailed it. This is in the pieced category. 
the color story and the way that she put them together. I wonder if this is 100 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it is. And I see all the blocks. Like, I can tell you. And I like, there's just, it's just not sashed. The colors work so well together. This is great. What a lovely palette. I want to do the 100 days again, but yeah, we'll see. This one here is Peace. This is by Diane Cooper, and this took third place. And the quilting is simply echoed, but it's, it's beautiful. At the top, check the value change to, to add dimension. So the top block is the lightest, to the left you're gonna get the darkest, and then to the right you're gonna get the medium tone. You guys see that? Not easy to do. Not an easy palette to pull from. I love this. It's done very, very well. It creates a great illusion playing with value. And they didn't play with value with just the the boldest color, like the blue. There's also a value change in that red. Nailed it. Diane Cooper. Ooh, look at this. Love the shape. Love it, love it, love it. I'm feeling scallops lately. Did you guys see the $30 scallop tool that I bought the other day for absolutely no reason? Honorable mention, Diane Cooper. Very pretty. Now yeah, where are we going to go? Um, let's see what's here. This is by Margaret Ezra Mas. Celestial Green. Um, this is by Margaret Ezramas. This is a happy quilt. Hello. And we'll just go here. This is by Sarah Zimmerman. And it got an honorable mention. I like this. It's got tools, card decks. Um, looks like are those golf items? Yes, they are. Poker chips. Um, this quilt displays the talents and hobbies my husband had. I narrowed the pattern with and added two rows on the length at his request. Pieced it and quilted on a Janome memory craft. Love the quilting. We're using variegated threads. Man cave art. Look at this one. I'm really digging these colors. This is by Joan Wright. It's called a prairie quilt. Look at all the tans used in the center here. I like it. And then we've got a beautiful geometric quilt here. In these Heels by Kathy Portios. And this is called Entangled Sky by Krista Moser. I like Krista Moser. All right, guys, we are going to mosey on over to Pooh. <laughs> oh, Pooh, she touched the quilt. Somebody's got a brother machine. Because it's got the official Disney. Deborah Iverson. She is an accomplished collaborative professional. I like this. I wonder if this is like a it if it gives a masculine like this would be great for a guy in my opinion. It's not too floral, it's not too anything, it's not too, it's just it's just nice, it's just beautiful. It's not too anything. You know what I mean? It's just not too much. Of, and I really like this block. I keep... Ugh. Look at where it's quilted. I like this. This is, this would look so good in a, like the proper man cave. Oh, I'm taken by that. Okay. Donna Koenig. This one here took second place in the collaborative professionals category. Hi. <laughs> That's quite a 
a contraption that I have going on here? Yes, it is. You have a quilt hanging in the show. Uh, I have three of them. Actually. Ooh, look but at you. Did, but they didn't win prizes. No, they're that's just... that's okay. What a, yeah. It's amazing just to have them hanging. What is collaborative professional? Collaborative means uh, it was probably it was probably done, the machine quilting was done by, by somebody else. So it's yes, piece yes. by one and then, machine quilted and by then another. Machine quilted by someone else. I yes. gotcha. Yes. Oh, I gotcha. Thank you. Another one block wonder, and then I think the fabric that was used to make the one block wonder is in the border. I like when they do these. This is by Joan Clarico. Ooh, where are we gonna go? We've got people in both. Okay. You know, I try to avoid the people. Erlinda Rahino is here. Mariachi Sunday. It feels very mariachi. This is in the piece category. And then we've got Diane Borlier. What a beautiful fabric that was used here. This purple is so pretty. It's like a blue purple. It feels cave. This might be a cave one. It's a nice bear claw. It's clean with a um, meander on it that's also very, very clean. Beautiful. Diane Cooper. This is just bursting with color. And we've got to use some metallic threads. I haven't seen anybody else using metallic threads in this show, which is something that you see a lot. What's up, Kim? You hanging out with me from Illinois? Diane Cooper did this one here. It's kind of got a Lone Star feel. Sandy Myers, half square triangles, used to perfection. We got some variegated threads in here. I wonder how many that took. How many half square right triangles? Half square, oh, half square triangles. Half square. What can I say? It's because I've been doing half rectangle triangles to death. And so now I can't say half square triangle. I don't know what's wrong with me, guys. I love this. A lot of people are doing these one block wonders and then wrapping them around the panels that they used to do it. And you come up with such interesting results. This is by Barbara Amyadi. Your panels never turn out that good. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I saw one done at one of the shows that I covered and I'm going to just do it. Another one block wonder. Carol Ketchum. <laughs> Carla Lynch, my mother's sewing machine. This is pretty bad. This is by Tina Davis. Honorable mention in the, we're in the collaborative professionals. I think they're right. I think collaborative professional is going to be, um, is going to be piece by one and quilted by the other. So I'm going to turn this way. I refuse. I know. And I'm, and I'm, but I'm trying to avoid you on purpose. And I'm trying to avoid me. I am. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I know. We're going to meet again. You know what? Maybe I'll go two rows over so that we don't, so that we don't meet. Carla Lynch, this is the collaborative professionals for the lizard. The quilting on this is so deep. It has so much depth. So much depth. Loving that. And this is by Rosalie Clark. All right. All right, guys, let's walk down. Let's go get a couple. Excuse me. What a beautiful quilt there. Okay, so here we have Rose Antrim. This is in the other category. Let me get closer so you guys can really see the artwork on this one. Just so much work and detail that's gone into this. Ooh, there's one on the wall that I am really digging. This is by Evelyn Fudge. 
This is by the princess. It's called Rose Antrim. And it's called the Princess of Elizabeth. Rosa, I am in Sarasota, Florida, I believe. Sarasota, Florida. At the, oh, what is the name of the show? Oh my goodness. Whatever the, the whatever the, the, um, which show is this, guys? This is called the, Look at the title, Rosa. I'm sorry. I know you think I should know where I am, but really, I'm from Los Angeles, California. And I'm just bopping around everywhere, and I stumbled upon a quilt show. <laughs> so, the Friendship Knot. Thank you. This is the Friendship Knot quilt show in Sarasota, Florida. This is by Jean Freestone. This this is beautiful. The quilting, and then the lace and the textures. I went to Road to California too. It's on here. I'm pretty sure I um I'm pretty sure I videotaped it. Let's go here. S A Q A challenge. And there is the photograph. And here's how they interpreted it. I just love the pathway that comes all the way through. This one is super dimensional. Another spectacular tree. Yep. This one is super duper dimensional. We'll turn it to the side so you guys can see the dimension on that. Then we've got this one by Peg Green. This one's for sale here. And this one here is by Pam Morris. All right. I was hoping there was, I thought it was more, but it looks like this is kind of where we are stopping here. Ooh. Ooh, if that's not just beautiful. It's called Mother Goddess of Antiquity by Peg Green. Is this a series by Peg Green? I think this is a series. The Goddess Quilts. Yes, they do. It's on your list to do? What? How come I don't know about Goddess Quilts? I know why I don't know, but I somebody put this on my list to do too. <laughs> Things to look into. Um, beautiful use of batiks. So that working in a series. Oh, this is called Working in a Series. This is a section is called Special Exhibit Working in a Series. This one's by Ellen Simon. Rosa, you got one in Norco, Norco, California? I'm there. What? And saddle me up a horse while I'm there, too, please. Gosh, I wish I wasn't, I mean, I'm happy that I'm live, but I really want to write that down to make sure that I find this show in Norco. I love Norco. I would live in Norco if I could. This is by Frida Anderson. I love this series. I love the use of color here. I love that it's a rainbow and it's warm. It's not punching you in the face, even though you know I like to punch you in the face with color. This is a way to do it on an elevated level. It's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the stalks of these um, tree-like symbols. Pine trees. Go Frida. All right, let's see where I'm going now. I'm gonna try to go this way. This is by Tommy Fitzsimmons and we are in the Accomplished Quilters Piece category. Look at that piecing. Can't even figure out how to do this. Where to go, when, I have no idea. No clue. No clue how to accomplish this. But he did it. <laughs> he did it well. Jean Draver. This looks like ties.
You belong to the quilt guild that's doing, oh, the Sean May. Okay, well, can you send me an email or something so that I can cover it, please? Or send me a DM or just, don't let me forget. <laughs> it's in May. Just, just don't let me forget it. Linda Swanson, this took third place in the piece category. Oh, I, I'm glad that I got this. I'm really looking forward to doing this pattern. And I love the way that it bargellos up to the right, you know, cascades and ombres. I hadn't thought to do this any way other than just a color story. But the fact that you can bargello this is gorgeous. Inland Empire Quilt Guild. The IE Quilt Guild, huh? This one that we're looking at now is by Helen Lucas. It's a New York beauty. What an accomplishment. Shout out to Helen. Not an easy quilt to do. Excuse me, huh? And you look like umbrella. Mac? Rosa, it's just Mac. Don't worry, don't apologize. I'm happy that you popped in with me. <laughs> don't apologize. It's Mac Cox. All my email information is I just don't want to forget, and I don't have a pen here or anything that I can just write this down with. But I really don't want to forget about that show in May. And it's just the kind of thing that I would absolutely forget the minute that I hop off this live. But yeah, you can find me at MA Couture Crafting on all the things. You can send it to Mac at macatmacouturecrafting.com. Just, just anything that, to make me remember to do a show in Norco. What is happening here? Look at this is super densely quilted, but it's a there's an image that is happening behind there. With all these tiny, tiny, tiny squares. This is by Susan Arndt, Arndt, Ardent. This is by Debbie Webb, ooh. And this one behind me is by Helen Lucas. And these are all in the piece by Accomplished Cultures category. I wonder what constitutes an accomplished culture. Frida Anderson. I wonder if it's the amount of quilts that you've done. M.A. Couture Crafting. You got it, Rosa. You got it. That's the name of the channel. That's the name of all the things. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. This is a temperature climate change. Sarasota, Florida. Temperature quilts. I love a temperature quilt. Or as my librarian quilter friend calls them, data quilts. Oh, I'm sorry. I am so sorry. She calls them data quilts. This is by Jan Warfield. Where can I go not to be in your way? Okay. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely fine. Are you talking to someone? I'm okay. live. Uh huh. So people who can't make it to shows, I go to all the shows and bring them with me. Oh, oh great. That way we can get more people with eyes on these shows. Yeah, it's a wonderful show. And we can celebrate. I like the smaller shows. Like I go to the bigger ones too, but everybody knows the big people. Sometimes we just need to celebrate the people who are, yes. you know, in the in the city. I just, I love it. That's so neat. Thank you. This is Frida Anderson and she won first place. And then we've got Linda Swanson over here with another one of those beautiful, I forget the name of this block. This is um, a cascade pattern by Victoria Finley Wolf. I like Victoria Finley Wolf. She's one of my faves. <laughs> Ooh. This one here is by Frida Anderson. She's taking this live and for people who can't come up to show. She does it for <laughs> Big shows, little shows. Whatever I can find. Wherever, whatever. This is by Dolores Simpson. Look, you guys, you guys always ask me about photography and photos on quilts. So look, these are printed out on fabric. Apparently, this person was a fisherman. Look, there's a fish. Oh, I love the use of buttons here. Look at these ombre buttons. Reaching for the Light by Frida Anderson. I wonder if that's the same person who did that one over there. Because it's a similar color story. I wonder if these are hand dyed. 
We've got lots of small buttons. Look at the purple button. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This took second place in the Accomplished Quilter Piece category. Ooh, this is by Susie Weinbach. Weinbach. This is in the Accomplished Culture Piece category. This is a pretty abstract piece. And this is by Mary Lewis. Love the color story. So pretty. That black really makes that pink and that blue pop. Then behind me we have a very large quilt by Elva Farrell. Or Farrell. Oh, let's look at this real quick before we start talking about Audrey Esseray. This is, she touched the quilts, aw. It looks like a little jail outfit. And you guys know how much I love black and white. <laughs> look, here was a much better shot of the very large Elva quilt. It's huge. Mobius Radle by Kate Merle. This is definitely an Audrey Esseray pattern. She taught a class. This quilt was also hanging in QuiltCon, but Audrey Esteray did it in about, I don't know, about 10 times the size. It was as big as I am. Um, Donna Cohen. I want to do this quilt pattern so bad. I think it's so cute and I see it. It's by Sugar Sugary Do. I like her. I think she has such a cute, clean style. And this is done beautifully by Donna. We are in the piece category still. And this one here is Honorable Mention by Joy Abbott. And these are the Tula Pink 100 blocks. I like that she didn't use Tula Pink fabric. It almost looks Allison Glass. I don't know if this, I don't know whose fabric this is, but beautiful color story, rainbow, sophisticated rainbow. The black and the white really ties it in. I think it looks good. She did 70 blocks, not the whole 100. Then we've got Joan Clerico. And this is called Flower Power. And this took an honorable mention too. This one's by Frida Anderson. It's called Modern Leaves. Look at that tight meander. It's very nice. Then we're going to whip on over here to Joan Noki. And this one is called Liberated Lotus. And we're in the peace category still. We've got Trina Davis, Tina Davis again. Cool kaleidoscope. Look at this, a flange. I love a flange binding. It's that little strip of fabric that's peeking out just to tie it in. Love that. This one is by Mary Lewis. It's stack and whack. Oh, I like the stack and whack. And I believe the border fabric is what she stacked and whacked. All right, guys. And then over in this area are the vendors and whatnot. But you guys know I don't go through vendors, and I certainly don't do it in a small show because that's really where the vendors are like, what are you doing? And we want to... You want to give them as much respect as possible. Um, this is by Ellen Simon. This is a special exhibit for repurposed materials. I think that this is mounted beautifully.
repurposed materials by Darlene Schwartz. More repurposed materials here by Pam Morris. Let's go this way and see what we see here. And here we've got the last Frida Anderson cherry baskets. And then we've got one more by Alva in this corner here. And this is another three-dimensional one in Tangled Sky. All right, guys. And I think that is going to be a quilt show wrap for us. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> so this is 2023 Quilts in Paradise member challenge. Uh, members were asked to create a 24 by 24 using the color yellow, signifying the light. The quilt was to be inspired by the title statement above at January meeting. Members voted for their favorite quilt after viewing the quilt and the artist statement. First, second, and third place ribbons were awarded. Let's look at these. This is beautiful. This is by Linda Swanson. I just felt the message. Thank you, Rosa. I, I just really did not want to miss that. It's, <laughs> it's right there in Norco. Norco is so my city. Um, Pam Morris and the baddie lady is going to be there. And I love the baddie lady. I just <laughs> feel like the baddie lady is always someplace where I am. Oh, look at this. Look at these ones. Um, Janie Ward. I'm assuming the baddie lady will be there because, you know, it's Norco and she's in Norco now. And I can swing by and maybe get a nice big roll of uh, batting. Orlando Rahino. This one here is by Janine Ward. Let There Be Light. Aw. This one's by Marcia Ber Berkey. This one here took third place by Peg Green. Then we've got Kay Kodowski, I think. She took first place. Then we've got Joanne Wright at the top. We've got Cass Bowen here. I like that one. This one took first place also. Uh, modern, oh, okay, those are the miniatures. This is the modern quilts. And then this one here, Darlene Schwartz. All right. <laughs> I don't remember seeing this one here. And I've been looking at this pattern. This is by Adida Sitar. I remember seeing this one at Road to California. And this is done by Tina Davis. Oh, I just needed, once I see your name pop up, I'll know exactly why the message. Don't just thank you so much. Because I just do not want to forget. <laughs> Susie Weinbach. Did we look at this? This is totally a Kim McLean. And I feel like I only saw the one Kim McLean over there. I'm going to do one of these guys. It's happening. It's coming. It's coming. All right, you all. I think that's it. I think that's all she wrote. I'm going to walk the vendors very, very quickly and then go back and capture a couple of quilts that I just think are super special and I want to talk about a little bit more. And... Um, I'm sticking a fork in this and calling it done. I hope you guys had a good time with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit that thumbs up button and like, like, like. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Okay, bye-bye. I'll probably go live tonight. Depends on if I finish shop hopping. I know that's a, a lot that's happening today, but we'll see. All right, guys. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.